Hey guys, welcome back to your channel. In this video, you'll learn how to use Sage 300 tutorial for beginners. So the very first thing that you should do is you just have to open any of your web browser. And as you can see right here, we have three different tabs for the sign up button. And when you visit the Sage accounting website, you cannot really see here a sign up button. So I'm going to show you on how you can access the website. So all you have to do is to type out this one. So accounting that sage one that co that z a slash sign up slash default dot aspx. And then you'd be able to see this website. Now to create your account, you just have to click on the sign up button. Then type out your company name, your product type, country, first name, last name, your mobile number, your email, your password. And then you have to confirm your password and then type out this once of access code. Now, after that, you just have to select what you currently use and years in business. And if you have your referral code, this one is optional. Then after that, you just have to sign up and be able to create your account. And as you can see right here at the top, we have different options. So we have quick view, we have customers, suppliers, items, banking, accounts, accountants, area, reports, category, and administration. Now, when you clicked on the dashboard option, you'd be able to see here your dashboard. So you have your banking, the top customers by sales, and more. Now, let's start with a quick view. So right here, you have your customers. So you'd be able to see here a quick view of your customers, suppliers, and other details as well. So this is your customer quick view. So you can select your customer if you want to monitor the sales and then of course the other data for your business. Now, when you want to add a new customer, just go to the customer section and click on the add a customer. That's right. And then after that, you just have to input right here the details of your new customer. Okay. So you have here postal address, delivery address your um, contact details, default settings, and more. So you just have to save it after that. Now you also have your list of customers right here. So just go to the list and open the list of customers. And you'll be able to see here all of your customers, including the category, the balance, and other information. And if you'd like to delete one of your customers, so just click on the action button at your right side. Now let's add a new supplier. So just do the same clicked on the add new supplier and then you just have it to input the details of your new supplier so we have a postal address physical address contact details and more now you also have the list of your um, suppliers and if you'd like to view the transaction as well you can do that okay so from here you can also add a new supplier when you go to the list of your suppliers now let's go to the items. So just the same if you would like to add a new item. In the same process, you just have to input the details of your items. Okay, so you have the price list, activity notes, you have the use defined fields, purchases, graph, and more. And of course, you also have the list of your items. So if you'd like to monitor your items, just go here to the list of your items. And if you think you want to remove some or out of stock, just click on the action button at the right side of each item you have in here. Okay, so now let's go to the banking section. So right here, if you would like to add a new bank or a new card, all you have to do is to input here the details of the bank account. So starting off with your bank account name, the category, and then you just have to input all of the other details. You also have here the list of banks, okay, and your credit cards. So you have here the list of banks and credit cards. So from there, you can also add bank or credit card, okay? So when you go to the report section, Let's say, for example, we are going to check the reports for our suppliers. So we have here the name and description. So we just have to select the name. For example, list of suppliers. And then you just have to um, select from the supplier and then to the supplier. So it's up to you. And then after that, just click on the view report option at the bottom. And then just wait for a couple of seconds and you'll be able to see here now this details for the supplier listing report. Okay, so let's try to view another report. Let me just go back to the report section. Okay, right here. Let's go to the customers. Okay, so we have the list of customers, sales by customer. 
Okay, so you can also directly click the on the view report and then you'd be able to see those details. Okay, so here is the name, the date, the reference, the um, description, the quantity, and then the total selling. And then if you would like to um, switch to um, weekly date range, you can do that as well. Now let's go to our workspace. So right here on the workspace section, we can create a code, create an invoice, create customer receipts. So let's start with the create invoice. So right here, in order for you to create your invoice, you have to input the customer details. Okay, and then you have the invoice details, and then below we have the save, save a new, print, view, email, and of course, in creating an invoice, you have to select an item. So just go here to the item section, and then I just have to select your item. Okay, that's right. So just select your item, this one as well. Okay, so let me just select three items. And then if you are going to select more than three items, of course, you can do that as well. After that, just click on save. Okay, and then if you would like to email this invoice to your customer, of course, just click on the email option. Okay, so do not forget to input the customer details as well as the invoice details. So you'll be able to save this one. Okay, so now let's try to create a customer receipt. So just click on the customer receipt. That is right. And then here for the customer details and the receipt details, you just have to select your customer. Okay. So if you'd like to add a new customer from here, just click on the add new customer. Okay. So after that, just click on this process and email. So it's up to you if you'd like to email this one immediately. And then you have to type out right here the name of your recipient, and then your subject, and if you have a message and an attachment. So you just have to click on the section right here. Okay, so you have the message and then the attachment section, and you'd be able to click on the email report option. So going back here, we have so much on our workspace. So we have created supplier invoice, supplier payments, import bank statements, record expenses, view back transactions and customer statements, profit and loss, balance sheet, repair your VAT return, and then the change company settings. So you just have to explore the rest of the workspace section. So the Sage 300 is a powerful business management software designed for small to medium-sized businesses. It offers integrated solutions for accounting, finance, inventory, sales purchasing, and project management. So with real-time reporting, customizable dashboards, and cloud-connected features, it will help you streamline your operations, improve decision-making, and support business growth. It is ideal for businesses that have outgrown basic accounting tools and need more control and flexibility. So that's it for this video. If you think this video helped you solve your concern, please subscribe, like this video, and leave your comment below. Bye!